Hey guys, it's Rob Sipek with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to easing your digital transformation. In today's video, we'll be going through the updates for Apple Reminders in iPadOS 17. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human. Welcome back. If you'd like to learn how to use any of these features, you can go to our other channel, Paperless Humans, for a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use the new features in iPadOS 17. We can now add sections to our lists in iPadOS 17. These add another level of organization to our lists in the app. Where before we had to use subtasks and lists only, we love that we can organize our lists into sections now. Is it too much to ask for if we requested color options for them? Black is a bit boring, no? I'm just thinking that some color would help these pop out a bit more. But I have to admit it's probably not necessary. Our sections can show as lists, which is the default view, but you can also choose to view them as columns as well. We love the columns view because columns are much easier to rearrange. You can also reorder them in the list view but it's better with columns. What do you guys think? Another reason we love the columns view is how it displays our subtasks. The main task is not very easy to tell apart from the subtasks though, especially if it's following a to-do with subtasks. So we hope that maybe they can make the main task a bit more bold and indent the subtasks as well to help them differentiate from main tasks. That way we can easily tell apart subtasks from the next main task, which is a bit difficult at the moment. We managed to add more than 10 columns to a single list. What are the chances you'll need more than that? Apple has a new kind of list they're calling a shopping list. We've had a hard time categorizing it. It's definitely not a smart list because it doesn't have all the filters you'd expect to see from a smart list. It's not a template either, judging by the fact that it's not under our templates. Our best guess is that it's probably an AI-powered list that automatically categorizes the items on your grocery list. We hate everything about it. I don't know about you, but my shopping list are the simplest lists I create every day, where I can see 20 items at once that I can easily tick off as I add items to my shopping basket. So, these AI sections that just pop up when I add an item to my shopping list, they just make it longer than necessary, which for me makes it harder to find items, mostly because the automatic sections don't make logical sense to me. Maybe that's because I'm not trying to be an efficient shopper. I'll still walk down every aisle in the shop, even if I'm just going to buy one item. So these categories really are not very helpful for me. They're just cluttering my list and the minimal list in me completely dislikes them. What do you think? Do tell. I mean, we understand where Apple is going with this. We're just hoping their sections will do more useful things like turn Apple Reminders into a project management app. 
with the Kanban system. Not turn us into efficient shoppers. Because honestly, it's not like we're going to have a life-changing experience by saving time we spend walking down aisles in different shops. The shopping list is an epitome of what Apple hopes we can do with our lists and Apple reminders. And we have to say we are very disappointed. For now, we'll help train their AI to categorize our shopping lists. And they'll probably add more lists for different things like weddings, travel. And this is where Apple is going with this feature, which is really pathetic for a Get Things Done app, to be honest. We don't hate everything about the shopping list, though. We love that we can hide sections that are empty. That's something, I guess. We also love that we can now toggle the sidebar in the app, which makes the app more minimalist, which is refreshing. Even the narrower sidebar looks better than what we had before, and we love it. Early reminders are great too. They can be a decent workaround for start dates in the app, especially if the developers let us pick specific dates for them. So we look forward to having that. There are a few things we would have loved to see in this update that we still don't have in Apple Reminders. We don't have a recycle bin. And our attachments in the app are still limited to images. Overall, we love all the small updates in Apple Reminders, but the main one is a massive disappointment. We thought iPadOS 17 was turning Apple Reminders into a small project management app, but it seems not. What do you think about the sections and columns in Apple Reminders? Do you like them? Do you find them useful? Do you think the new shopping list will make you an efficient shopper? Is that something that's going to improve your life? Do tell. We hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in the next video.